Good morning. It is March the 19th, 2018. Time to kick off another trading week. Uh, probably the biggest news day of the month is coming this Wednesday, the FOMC announcement where the markets are playing for an interest rate increase of 25 basis points. The focus will be the Fed's forward guidance. <clears throat> well, there'll be two more interest rate increases in 2018 or three. Um, we'll start with our usual disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any uncertain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Well, um, what a weekend we've had here in the southern central plains. It actually started raining and uh, we're getting some much needed rain right now. Uh, hopefully it will continue. This is the start of a wet cycle for us. The uh, news, McCabe was actually fired. The uh, political turmoil continues with Democrats um, offering him jobs in the government for them where he can get his full pension. It's just, I, I mean, lawlessness <coughs> continues to abound all around us. And will anybody um, actually uh, have to pay for uh, what they have done? But... Uh, the lawlessness shakes the very foundations of the two agencies that are supposed to keep everybody straight, the FBI and the Department of Justice. So the ongoing saga continues. Um, worries out of Europe about Brexit. Worries out of Europe about the UK's relationship with Russia. Will Italy uh, form a new government? Abe is not too popular in Japan, so we awaken this morning with only China's equity markets higher. Uh, the selling started in Japan, continued in Europe, and our markets are lower. Uh, Facebook was cited for their uh, overt mining of data and sale of that and manipulation of that to others. Um, the fangs are coming under scrutiny in Europe. Um, May, they might, they may, or may not come under scrutiny in the United States. Uh, they should be looked at pretty hard. Back in the old days, antitrust legislation and antitrust action would have already been taken on some of these companies for what they've done. So everything's just kind of all stirred up. <clears throat> that little whirlwind tornado twister it continues to roll through the world's national capitals and for us as traders it's not a bad thing because it gives us extra volatility to play with okay because the fed is expected to increase interest rates this week treasuries are lower that's always a pretty simple call um, the knob spread has come in quite a bit so if the selling continues this morning we'll see more selling in the 30 year than we will in the 10 as 30 years are sold and 10 years are bought via the knob spread. If we take a look at this market, you can see that the high came in Frankfurt or Paris. We had a lower high in London of 9. We're selling right now, so there's no reason not to expect a retest of the buck to maybe this 02 level. Then after that, <clears throat> we'll have to see. So I like the short side of the market first. Uh, first sell is 7 to 11. Second sell is 15 to 19. On the buy side, um, buying against the buck <coughs> I think makes sense right now uh, because we may not break. You never know. We'll put it at 4, but I think the L1s are better. It would be the first place I'd be interested in buying Then 25 to 29 for buy 2. Uh, what might support the market today? Heavy selling in the E-mini or stocks. That's the only support that I can see that might be there as we come into the market this morning. Well, the final four in March Madness has everybody's brackets all screwed up. Uh, headlines everywhere that uh, 
no bracket is intact. So going into this tournament, everybody said there was no clear favorite or favorites. It, it was open to any and everybody, and so far that's proven to be true. Tennessee got knocked out by Loyola, which is the Cinderella team getting the best press right now. And if they continue to move, move higher, I'm sure they'll get even better press. But it's always fun to watch the games because of the uncertainty involved in this tournament. It's a um, <clears throat> it's a, the toughest one out there to win, I think. Okay, looking at the bond, we're headed lower. Um, <clears throat> next low volume is 143.20. That's within reach. With a high volume number down at 15. So 43.16 to 20 is probably the best support. And then we have this low over here at 13. So somewhere below 20, we might see some support in the bond. So we're going to make the buck to 04, number 1, 7 to 11, cell 1, 15 to 19, cell 2. On the buy side, 24, 28, number 1, buy 17s to 21s, and buy 9 to 13 for buy 2. I see there's another big storm winding up out west to push across the upper tier of states. So um, the um, <coughs> groundhog in uh, Pennsylvania, Groundhog Day, predicted six more weeks of winter. I think you're going to get it back there. And of course, if we're getting it in the lower 48, our friends up in Canada will get it too. So blame it on a groundhog in uh, Pennsylvania. If we have to blame somebody, global warming is what I'm going to blame it on. I don't disbelieve in global warming. It's been going on since the Earth was formed. We go through cool periods and hot periods, and this is not the warmest period that we've experienced um, previously. And it's hard to explain away the previous warming periods uh, if you. Uh, <coughs> you know, discount the influence of uh, the sun and cosmic rays as being the primary source of heat for the fan for the uh, planet. At least it is in my eyes. <coughs> okay, uh, we've got a gold is trying to sell. We had this 9 to 10 area where the low volume area was, then basically below 05. So right now, trying to trade lower, we rejected perhaps below 1308. So we'll make 1308, 1305 by one. Then I think it's a play for stops below the buck if we bust that area. So we'll make 1300, 1302 with the idea that they might go below 1300 and get stops. On the uh, sell side, we've got a high of 14. We're at 11 right now, so we'll make 12 to 14 sell 1 and 18 to 20 sell 2. The Euro. Why well, we are in a pretty tight trading range. If I just draw a straight line across, you can see 123 is pretty good support. And <coughs> definitely rejected prices above 124.30. But you can see the selling starts at 24.15, and we're there. So why don't we give it a little room to operate to the upside if treasuries go down. So we'll make uh, 24.15 to 25, sell 1, 40 to 50, sell 2, 
on the buy side, uh, 13, 23.75 by one, and 23.50 by two, and <clears throat> the 125 still is up there. That's that would be a a trading target for some people that has been talked about. It's within reach. Probably not today. Uh, the euro tends to go on uh, hold until the FOMC speaks. My guess is is that we'll look at a, the trading range probably will hold until Wednesday's interest rate announcement from the Fed. Looking at crude, uh, we exploded on Friday. <coughs> Never did find any news to explain that. And uh, here we are at 62.25. So 25 to 50, sell one. 75 to 63, sell two. Uh, the breakout came down here from 61.50. So we'll make 61.75, 62 buy one. Got a B right here. <coughs> and 61 and a quarter, 61.50 by two. Didn't see any news out of the Middle East that would impact or impede the flow of oil. So <coughs> supply isn't an issue. The uh, whole card for OPEC is the decrease in Venezuelan production. All sorts of talk about a military coup by the end of 2018 in Venezuela. And we'll get to see which tribe gets to loot <coughs> Venezuela's treasury again. If it's a military coup, some general's tribe will be up in line to steal from the treasury. <clears throat> Isn't it funny how the press never talks about how Chavez's dollar is worth over four billion dollars? Wonder where she got that money. <clears throat> She's probably not suffering. But that just that won't be talked about. Okay, the E mini is trying to trade lower. <clears throat> 25 is a big number down there. Uh, this 35 area is a low volume number, so we're going to have this 25 to 35 area as potential support. The news hasn't changed. Everybody expects the Fed to raise interest rates. 25 basis points. So far, the stock market hasn't really suffered too much from that. So right now, it looks like there's pretty good selling in the 65 area, and there may be a buyer at 35. So uh, I think the first trade is a sell. Uh, we've got this break right up here in the market at 45. So very, very aggressive. 44. Would like 49s better. Would like to lean against that 50. No news to drive today's trading. 54 to 59 for sell two. <clears throat> I think we can go lower. Um, I think 25 is kind of a better buy, so we'll start out with a 26.31 buy one, and I'm going to put a question mark at 35. That might be it, and then uh, 16 to 21 buy two. Um, everybody's worried about the fangs, uh, the <coughs> inquiries have already started in Europe on uh, Facebook and Google, uh, the fines have started, Amazon is regularly mentioned in the United States is too big, trying to take over too much, uh, Facebook, there's a big um, <coughs> article out on uh, Zero Hedge about how they really um, gather information and use it internally or sell it uh, unbeknown to uh, people that are just out there typing away socially. So 
uh, Facebook is coming out, and Facebook was the stock that was blamed for taking the U.S. markets lower overnight. Um, Amazon is in the uh, press too big, too fast, hurting too many uh, uh, other businesses. Uh, Google uh, has been fined in Europe. Google gets bad press here, so Apple's kind of the only one that's escaping um, <coughs> uh, a lot of uh, untowards press uh, these days. So that's where the selling started supposedly in Facebook and we'll see if it uh, carries through the day session. If we can't break that 27, 30, 35 area then I think it makes sense to get long to take a shot at trading back up to 27.50. Okay, it's going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. I'm going to get busy on that. I will be back with you as soon as possible.